Welcome, beautiful goddesses, to Teach Travel Talk. I am Megan, and my mission, goal, and vision is to help guide you through the crazy journey of life and of being a human and having this human experience. Because until we realize that we are the creators of our reality, we can either make life very difficult for ourselves or we can make our world incredible but it's all about how we perceive our world and the world around us so this is for you yes you the one listening so that I can uplift and empower you to look within yourself and find that inner light love guidance and intuition that will lead you to unbecome who the world told you to be and bring you back to who you were meant to be and who you were supposed to become in this life. So let's dive deep into conversations that will bring you teachable moments to implement throughout your daily life and to help reprogram the way we think. Welcome my beautiful tribe to Teach Travel Talk where we are here to teach one another how to travel through this life by sharing and talking about our choices and our stories in life. It is such a powerful thing to hear one another's stories and how they have overcome life's obstacles. I think it's an amazing way to reconnect with ourselves is not only by sharing our stories, but by listening to other people's stories and how they have overcome life, what choices they have made, and what has got them on this their path to being their most authentic self. Because we all deserve to be our most authentic self. And when we are able to become our authentic self, it becomes much easier to live in the present moment and do things that you need to do in your life, not what other people tell you you should do. So today I really wanted to talk about connections. (laughs) And it's been something that I have been opening up to and I've been learning about and realizing that it's something that is so important to not only me but to so many people out there around the world is our connection to one another. So I can't wait to share this topic with you. I feel that you will have so many teachable moments throughout this amazing episode and I know I haven't done a solo in a few weeks because I've been connecting with so many incredible, amazing people that I'm so grateful have come into my life and now have come into your life to help guide you through this human experience that we are all going through right now in this moment together. So let's get right into it and I can't wait for this amazing connection that we are about to have on this spiritual journey. So let's begin. Welcome my beautiful goddesses, queens, and unicorns. Yes, even you men listening, women listening, whatever you identify as, welcome. You are beautiful, you are deserving, and you are loved. And today, I really wanted to talk about connection. I think it's so important for us in this human experience to connect with one another and to realize that we are all going on this journey of being a a spiritual being in a human experience and in a human body. And sometimes it's really hard to grasp that concept because we have been so attached to our human doing instead of our human being. 
And with becoming more connected with yourself, you must start getting connected with other people. A huge part in my spiritual journey was becoming connected with myself and learning who I am, the skills and the lifelong lessons I've learned to adapt and evolve and change into this person that I am today. And I'm constantly going to be changing and evolving, so I can't stay stuck to this identity that I have formed inside of my head because they are just thoughts. And if I stay connected to those thoughts, then they get rooted inside of me and I'm not able to then keep connecting with other amazing things. So sometimes connections definitely need to be broken while other connections need to thrive. And learning that there are so many connections within our life. We have a connection to the materialistic world of items and objects and all of that. We have connections with relationships, with friends, with families, with partners. We have connections with our career and maybe our clients and other business owners. We have connections with our society, with what is to be good, what is to be bad, what is expected of you. And then, you know, there's a connection to the universe, to this power above, universe, source, God, whatever you feel in your heart is the right way to describe this higher power. We are connected to so many different things and sometimes those connections can get overwhelming or we tend to not allow some connections to leave us Um, and we are constantly wanting to hold on to these connections that no longer serve us and as we go through this transition and the spiritual journey that we are all on we have to learn how to disconnect ourselves from a lot of different things most of the time especially with internally that we have a a huge problem disconnecting from is our feelings and our emotions and from our ego they are the things that consume us the most that we allow to not only connect with everything, we allow it to control everything. We allow it to control how we react in situations, how we perceive a situation, how we navigate through situations, how we allow it to affect us. And sometimes we have to cut those connections to those feelings, to the ego who is always wanting a negative outcome. It always is wanting that conflict and that negativity. And it's for us to disconnect from that and observe and be in the moment and be in the present of being in your body, in your mind, and really thinking about the situation and becoming an observer of your world to perceive things and to realize that other people have other perceptions from us and that's okay. But when we get so caught up in our thoughts and our emotions and our feelings and all of this, we tend to create stories within our mind that are creating a reality that actually is false. Because we are constantly in this state of either negative thinking, we're thinking in the past, we're thinking of situations that have happened before that we've seen or heard, or we are constantly in the future worrying about the what ifs and constantly 
those what ifs are typically negative what ifs or we're making excuses or we're doing something that is not keeping us in this moment, in the present and being mindful of everything, the words we are speaking, how we show up into this world, how we show up for ourselves, how we show up for other people, how we create our reality. So when we're looking at connecting to ourselves, we truly, truly have to look at what things are of value to us. What do I need to be connected to right now? What do I need to be disconnected from? And taking a look, the biggest thing that we can do for ourselves is journaling. I will say this all the time because it is the most important thing that we can do in this life (laughs) is journal. Write it down. Write down what are you connected to right now? What are you disconnected to? How can you figure out a balance within life? Because there are many times that we disconnect from things that are actually very useful to us. So even journaling, we disconnect from writing down what our feelings are and writing down how we feel in that moment and what what it's invoking inside of us. Is this from the past? Is this from someone else? Is this a trigger? Is this something that I need to heal? What is, is this a life lesson? What is it? Write it down so then you don't become it. You don't identify with that feeling. You just allow that feeling to be what it is. And allowing yourself to move forward. And a lot of other things we get disconnected from is community. A really big thing that I feel I get disconnected from sometimes is connecting with like-minded people who are on that same path that I am on, who are creating their own business, who are entrepreneurs, who are on this spiritual journey of becoming their authentic self, of finding purpose and happiness and living in alignment with not only yourself, but with Mother Earth and what she is giving us. And being in line with why are we here on this planet and trying to do the least amount of damage on this earth. So it's finding our tribe, it's finding and connecting with those people that are going to push us forward, who we can see ourselves in those people. And there are a lot of times that we need to disconnect from a lot of other people who may not be in alignment with where we are in our journey and that is okay it is so okay to disconnect from people because it's not that you may never connect with them again but while they are on their own journey which everyone is on their own journey sometimes you have to let go of people who are not in alignment with where you are and again i will say it is okay. Many times we have this perception that we must hold on to our family, onto really close friends, onto partners. But what if they are bringing you down? What if they are dragging you down? What if they are so negative and toxic to you? You must let them go. You must let them go on the journey on their own. Or else you will never evolve or change or adapt because sometimes those people's energies can suffocate you, can bring you down instead of lifting you up and continuing on this journey. And we have to do that sometimes and that is okay. It may hurt some people's feelings, it may make people uncomfortable, but change is uncomfortable. Change is inevitable, but would you rather stay stuck in the same place, in the same situations, experiencing the same feelings and never getting different results? Or could you finally take a stand and disconnect from what is holding you back? 
And that is a big thing that happens is our self-sabotage. We sabotage ourselves by putting ourselves into situations, by putting ourselves with people who are not in alignment with ourselves, being at a job we are not aligned with, being in a partnership we are not aligned with, a friendship, anything. And we need to disconnect from those. It's hard because we fear the unknown. We fear what is to come when I disconnect from this. And a really big part is our ego. Our ego loves conflict. It loves negativity. It feeds off of it. So it never wants you to change. It wants you to stay stuck. It wants you to remain and to not be satisfied with anything that life gives you. And life is constantly giving you opportunities and choices to make a different choice. But when we are connected to these negative energies or frequencies, we're not able to be intuitive to these choices and, you know, maybe these people or situations that the universe puts in front of us that could help us grow, help us to expand, and instead of connecting in with those, we actually completely don't even allow it to connect with us because we are so connected to the other side that we can't even see when a great opportunity or great person is coming into our life because, again, our ego doesn't want that. It doesn't want us to succeed it doesn't want us to grow and evolve and become a different person because we have identified with this for so long that it has no idea how to identify with this new blossoming person that you want to be that is in alignment with the core of who you are with your intuition with your mind your body and your soul It wants you to stay stuck in this negative frequency because that is where it has control over you, where you are not living in a present moment, where you are connected to the ego and to the worst case scenarios and getting reactions out of people and always having this win-lose situation and being a victim and not holding yourself to higher standards and saying no I'm going to disconnect from this and I'm going to be mindful and present again it takes a really long time not a really long time but it does take time for us to get into a new state of mind and to not let the ego overcome us and to disconnect from all of these things that we have known to be true for so long our beliefs our thoughts our emotions our society everything that told us who we should be how we should be that person we've identified with it for so long that sometimes it's really hard for us to disconnect from that identity that we have created for ourselves but we have to we have to take off the masks we have to take off everything and become our authentic self and not allow the ego to suppress who we are and allow ourselves to come out and blossom and be the person that we were meant to be on this earth And I want all of you to find that. Find the reason you have stayed connected for so long to these negative energies or negative frequencies. Write it down. Write in your journal. Why do you think you stay stuck there? Why do you think you deserve to have conflict, to to have negativity Why do you not think that you deserve the best life has to offer? Why do you think that you don't deserve love and happiness and joy? And a lot of times it is. It's sitting with ourselves and 
truly figuring that out. And sometimes that is why we have to connect with other people, with life coaches, with people who are one level up from you, who can teach you, who can coach you, who can help guide you through what is happening in this transformation. So the reason I really, really wanted to talk about connection today was because me finding these connections, especially these interviews, these people that I have been, I have had come on the show has been incredible. I've loved connecting with them and I see that when I connect with people that are trying to create this space for creativity and love and abundance and finding our true selves and going on this spiritual journey together, we help one another. We are exchanging energy and that energy is magnetic. It's love and joy and I have appreciated every single connection that I have made and that I will make by doing this amazing podcast for all of you because you all deserve to have these tools and for you to see what is going to help you throughout your journey and for those of you who, you know, have even right now this discomfort with the words that I'm speaking, keep going, keep going, keep listening to podcasts, keep diving deep into learning and teaching yourself about these tools and skills that we all need to have successful lives. It is such a a rewarding thing when we can say yes to ourselves, when we can say yes to this evolution and to this spiritual change and growth that we all go through. But connecting with those who are going through it with you so that you can help one another, hold one another accountable That is something we truly need in these connections is accountability. Accountability is huge to keep one another accountable for the actions we are taking to get to our dreams, to get to our goals, and to keep moving forward. Because if you don't have that support system, if you don't have that accountability well, guess what? Your ego's always going to come in and think it's your support system. And guess what it's going to do? It's going to sway you to that negative side. It's going to want you to connect to those toxic and negative situations or people or feelings or bad habits that we have. It wants you to connect with that. So it's finding your tribe, even if it's this tribe, I would love to have you come and join us, but if it's not, that is okay. There are so many amazing tribes out there. Find one that works best for you, that has that message that you f- it finally clicked for you. You finally heard the words that this person is saying because not everyone is going to like how I give my messages. Not everyone's going to hear it and that is okay. But for those of you who my words do matter to you and they are helping you, I am grateful for you. I'm grateful for both of you because I need both. I need people that aren't going to like this and I need people that are going to like that. And I don't fault you for whatever you choose because this is your journey. But I just want to say keep going on this journey. Go and find someone that speaks to you. Find someone's voice and words that connect with you, that align with you. And don't give up. 
That is my biggest thing. Don't give up. Keep connecting to those things that are aligning you with who you want to be and who you were supposed to be, who you were meant to be on this earth. Because if we don't keep connecting and keep going after that, we are going to get pulled and become connected to things that no longer serve us anymore, that no longer should be involved in our life. So, again, find those connections. Find those connections that you either need to disconnect from or connections that you need to keep building and to flourish or that you need to nurture and keep going after what is in alignment with you. And I hope that you can connect with someone today Connect with someone who's in alignment and share your vision, share your dream, share your goals, share what is going on with you and find an accountability group, find an accountability partner, someone that can keep you moving on this path and can help you through those stubborn obstacles that always come in our way because they're always going to come we just need some people sometimes to help push us out of the mud or to give us a hand out of it so don't ever feel that you cannot ask for help or that you cannot find someone who's in alignment with you you can project that out there and they will come, they will connect with you. So I hope you had an amazing time listening about how not only to connect with ourselves, but how to connect with others, and what we need to disconnect from in order for us to connect with things that are in alignment with us. Because we all deserve to have these connections, and I hope you have an amazing, magical month of May because right now we are going through a phase especially with Mercury retrograde right now and if you don't know anything about that I highly suggest my lovely tribe who love to learn about that stuff go and learn what it is because right now it's all about reinventing ourselves recreating ourselves repairing ourselves all the re <laughs> realign ourselves it's doing a lot of reflection work and that is what we are in for the next almost month so start reflecting start rethinking reevaluating reintroducing new things and just redo everything because you will thank yourself later Again, if you want to come and join the tribe, please definitely come. It is at facebook.com slash teach travel talk tribe. We would love to have you there. And I can't wait for you to come inside and see what this community is about. And I love you all. I hope you found a lot of teachable moments within this episode. I've loved sharing this with you. It is something I have been really resonating with right now in my space is realigning myself with my goals and my dreams and my vision for myself and reinventing the identity I told I was told I should be in life and reinventing myself into something completely new. And I hope you can do the same. So have some magical moments. I love you all. You all are deserving of the best things that life has to offer. So I can't wait until next Tuesday. Have an amazing day or night wherever you are. Namaste.